What's up guys, Charlie McGing from Charlie McGing Fitness and Nutrition and today I'm going to give you my top three tips for incorporating gym time and fitness into your exam period. So I've got a lot of friends that go to the gym and I've got a lot of clients that go to the gym and they're in university or they're doing A-levels or full-time education. And normally during exam period, you have to spend pretty much the whole day revising and doing assignments and doing work. So what most people do is they fall off their gym and what happens is they, they don't go for gym to the gym for this time. And so they miss out on one month, two months of gym time. And so that can set them back a lot in their fitness Put, put on a lot of fat during this time and they don't reach their goals as fast. So, these tips will help you incorporate them into exam period. Make sure that the gym isn't hindering your exam preparation, your revision, and it's actually helping you instead of holding you back. So, the first thing that I wanna mention is to go to the gym in the morning. This is the same for people with busy lifestyles, like the video that I made before, in that if you go to the gym in the morning, you quickly go, you eat, you go, and you eat again. And then after that, it means you have the whole day to spend revising. I used to go to the gym a bit later on in the day because I found it was a little bit stronger. But what I found was I'd wake up, do some work, and then I'd be thinking about the gym, like preparing for the gym and stuff. And then it'd, it'd take me a lot of time to prepare for the gym and then go and then come back and eat again. And that'd be a lot more time taken out of my day and would interrupt my work. So when I moved it into the morning, it means afterwards I could spend the whole day working uninterrupted after that. And I found that helps a lot better than going to the gym a bit later on in the day. The second thing is to prep your meals. So if you're spending a lot of time cooking and you're being interrupted from your revision and your work multiple times throughout the day, this means that the actual amount of time that you're gonna be spending sitting down and revising, sitting in that one spot is gonna be a lot lower than if you prepped your meals. So what I normally do is I'll make breakfast and cook all of my food for the day during that time when I'm eating breakfast and making my breakfast and pre-workout stuff. And then I put them in Tupperware boxes and then when I get back from the gym, I can go straight onto my laptop and with my revision stuff, with my meals, and so I can just eat my meal and start working then. And then when I need my other meals later on, they're right in front of me and I can eat and carry on working for as long as possible. The third thing is to, and the most important thing in my opinion, is to make sure you're recovering from the gym. There's nothing worse than having a big workout or big workouts every day consecutively and being physically tired and mentally drained. And this can take a lot out of revision. And to be honest, in my opinion, this, this is why most people stop the gym during this time is because they've expended so much energy at the gym and they're not recovering from the gym. So that when they come down and sit down to revise, the brain's not working, it's slow, it's sluggish, and they just don't feel like revising. My way around this, I have a few methods. So number one, you need to make sure you're eating enough. There's, in my opinion, there's no point cutting during exam period. You don't want to be in a calorie deficit because you want that recovery and you want that, that food, that energy to nourish you and the proteins to help you recover and the carbs to help you recover so that you can, so you can properly revise and do your work properly and be motivated to work as well. The second thing is cold showers and contrast showers. So this means straight after your workout, you wanna go in the cold shower you want to put it to the coldest setting and completely numb whatever body part that you've trained. And also it's good to put 
the cold on your head as well because it helps increase the oxygenation of that body part, increases the oxygen uptake and it helps increase blood flow and there's just a variety of different things that are really going to help you to calm your body down, de-stress it after the gym and so if you, if you go to the gym in the morning, do your contrast and cold showers afterwards, then you can go straight into work and I can guarantee you that you're going to be a lot sharper and you're going to be on, on point with your memory, your cognitive function and everything straight after the gym, straight after the showers when you sit down to work. So, and this, this also boosts your testosterone and there's a lot of other benefits to the cold showers. So I definitely recommend that. The way that I normally do the cold showers is straight after the gym, I'll go in, put it on the coldest setting and numb whatever body part that I've done for a couple minutes until I can't feel the, the water's cold anymore. I'll then turn it up to a comfortable warm level and let that body part heat up again and then switch it down again and repeat the process three times. I found this works the best for recovery and especially for legs where before I was doing this I was getting, it was taking me like three days to recover, like sometimes even four days if it was a big workout and this reduced it to one day and also it meant that afterwards instead of being sluggish, sitting down in my chair, being absolutely exhausted, it, mean, it means I could do all my work, get everything done and still keep up the gym. If anything, I found that by doing it in this method and recovering and by exercising from the gym, my cognitive function, my memory was all a lot better. So I hope this helps guys and I hope by using this, you can keep up gym during your exam period and use it to help you instead of hinder you in your revision and your success. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.